So pretty much everywhere that you have vehicles, you're going to have stranded motorists. And normally it's state patrol's job to kind of stop by and check on them and render aid and assistance if they should need anything. But state patrol does a lot of law enforcement and crime prevention, and they don't always have the resources to spread themselves thin for just disabled vehicles. So that's why a lot of states have adopted different programs to send out different resources specifically for those needs. In New York, it's the HELP program, which stands for, I believe it's Highway Emergency Local Patrol. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. But here's a, a good example of what they do is we have a stranded motorist. She has a flat tire and one of the HELP trucks is coming to literally just help her out. So he's going to pull up and change her tire for her. And you can see that they pulled over just a little bit farther on the shoulder. So there's a much safer work area and they're not like right there on the side of the road where somebody could swerve and potentially, you know, hit the help truck or hit her vehicle. So changing a tire is pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, not really a super huge deal, but some of the drivers don't know how to do that or don't have the proper tools or equipment to get that done. And then the motorist is now safely back on the way and State Patrol didn't have to tie up any resources to assist that motorist. Also, the other thing at the end of this video is look at all these drivers that just do not let this guy in. If you see flashing lights, if you see anything on the side, give him a clear lane to work with. Clearly, this guy is trying to get back onto the road so he can continue on his way and help the next motorist. And it takes a while for anybody to actually pay attention and give him some room. And luckily, this blue car is the nice person of the day. And they do just that. So if you see flashing lights or if you see anything on the side or the shoulder, please move over and give us room to work.